Today I'm here talking with Ben Vandermeer, journalist at the Sacramento Business Journal. Welcome, Ben. It's great having you here. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, you know, we've got a lot of exciting things happening in Rancho Cordova on the South of 50 project, and Ben's going to talk to us a little bit today about what's going on there. So, Ben, can you tell us what does Aerojet have planned and what's happening in terms of development? Right. Aerojet has two specific plans that they are working on right now. One is called Rio del Oro. That one is about 3,200 acres. The other one is Westboro. That is about half the size, about 1,600 acres. They are directly north and south of each other on the east side of what Rancho Cordova's limits are now. All right, fantastic. You know, how do these two projects work together? Well, between the two of them, they have, of course, some components of both commercial and residential. But Rio del Oro is the larger one, both in terms of acreage and residential. That's got about 12,000 residential units, probably going to be mostly single family homes. The other one, Westboro, is much more of a commercial project, going to have a lot more job centers. It will also have some homes, but the ratio between it, it's about 6,000 homes and about 5,000 jobs it's expected to produce. So the idea is that the two projects together will kind of help Rancho Cordova have a jobs housing balance and complement one another as they build out. Wow, that's exciting stuff. So what's the timing for these two projects or these multiple projects to occur? Right now, both projects are going through city entitlements. They're going to need to have full city review, an environmental impact report, things along those lines. The standard time frame for that is about 18 to 20 months probably. So I would estimate in about two years, you're going to start to see the move ahead. Both of them are 20, 25, 30 year build outs. These are long term projects. Wow. They'll take a lot to come to fruition. That's really great. Why are these projects so important for real estate here in the area? They're both going to have a lot of housing, which anyone who's dealing in real estate these days could tell you one of our big issues in this market is a lack of supply. We just haven't had new housing come online. Now that's slowly kind of taking over and becoming a better situation, but some have also told me we have a lack of lots in the area that are ready to build on. When you take a look at the numbers in this, which by my rough math is about 18,000 new residential lots, that helps the pipeline going several years in the future for more of those houses to come online. And I think it really has a big impact for jobs too, right? I mean, if you, if you go downtown and look at Sacramento, we've got what, 500 million that just got pumped into there and right. 30,000 new jobs over the last couple of years? Right, and not only that, there's a big emphasis on whenever possible trying to make the jobs close to the housing so that folks aren't spending all their time on 50, 80, all the other corridors in the region. Yeah. If they're successful with having a lot of new jobs generated at Westboro and they've got the housing right next door at Rio del Oro, maybe those are folks who aren't commuting so far and everyone gets a little bit more time with yeah. what they want to do in life. That makes sense. So given news about Aerojet's activities in the region, what do these projects really say about the company? Well, as we know, Aerojet has already said they're going to be relocating about a thousand jobs out of this area to other places, Southern California as well as Alabama. So really they're looking like they're kind of moving out of the market. Now they own an awful lot of land, these two projects included, and it looks as if they're going to move into, we're not going to be using that for our purposes anytime soon, let's move into developing that. They're doing that as well. They've already sold off some land that they own south of 50, further east in Folsom for future development over there. That appears to be the way Aerojet's looking for its long-term future in the region here, taking the land they have and letting it be developed by someone else. Well, that sounds like a lot going on in the near future for Rancho Cordova and the real estate market. We're pretty excited about it. Thank you, Ben, for joining us. Thank ben you. Ben Vandermeer with the Sacramento Business Journal. Thanks for joining us here. You're welcome. Now, for Minding Your Own Business. So you've heard of Tales from the Crypt? Next time I book a table for 8 o'clock, Wolfgang, I expect to be seated at 8 o'clock. Well, this is Tales from the Script. One of the most effective marketing strategies is to write about your client's journey with you. Whether they're selling to move to another state or buying their first home, you go through a journey with them to help them reach their goals. So, tell their story. It's important and other people want to hear it. Keep notes about your clients as you get to know them, once they close on the home, write about their story. Take a photo or a video of them. Now you have a blog content about each of your client's experiences and their stories specific to their journey with you. Even better, turn it into a script and tell their story on video in an abbreviated form, of course. Then add it to the full story in your blog. That way, other people can see how and that they identify with them. 
Post it on Facebook and all the social media platforms. Now that is pure gold marketing. It also shows how much you care about your clients and they you. Plus, it's a great testimonial. That's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.